Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Today I wanted to practice with my longer ferro rod. This is a six inch by three eighths diameter. And the reason why is, you know, I'm always using my keychain ferro rod. It's just a three and an eighth by five sixteenths. And when I tried this out the other day, it felt awkward. And that's because I haven't practiced with it in so long. Let's make a video today using the six inch ferro rod and four different scrapers. And I'm just gonna use leaves off the ground. All right, let's start off with the Mora Companion stainless steel. Got a very sharp spine. I'll leave the link to that video in the description of how you too can have a super sharp 90 degree spine. When they're straight off the ground like that, you can be sure there's gonna be some moisture in them. So. I like to halfway break them down. Make like a little hole in the center. And when the flame starts to catch, have something that I can set on that flame. And it goes something like this. All right, let's go ahead and try what you've seen already a bunch of times. We'll go ahead and try the spine on my Stanley 10-049, a great scraper. I need to find some better leaves to lay down on that flame. Something that will catch a little bit better. Something that's a little thinner, a little crispier. These two look good. Let's try that now. Still took a while for those to catch, didn't it? And I like to build up some intensity before I drop it down into the stove. Next, we'll use the spine of the saw on this Swiss Army knife. It's a field master. I want to use the driest leaves possible. All right, let's try that now. And like I told you before, the last time I broke this saw out, I'm actually holding pressure on the teeth of this saw. You can use 
a rag, you could use leather, you could use a stick or something. But a stick would be difficult because I'm not just putting downward pressure here. I'm actually holding it in two planes. I'm holding pressure against this and I'm holding pressure down against the teeth to hold the saw open. And try to get something that's going to help feed the flame. Let's try that. Oh, and these pine needles will be good too, won't they? Let's pull some of them out. And it goes something like this. Boy, I love all the extra material being deposited, scraped off of this fair rod. These, these leaves are wetter than the other ones. <laughs> Those pine needles made it take right off, didn't it? It did a good job. Everything's not going to be one strike ignite. Let's let that build in intensity a little bit. one I want to do. So let me just cut away to where I gathered up the materials for the last one. Let's let this go to flames before I cut away. Before we bought this house two years ago, the owner had it rented out. And can you imagine people on that deck up there probably drinking beer and throwing their beer bottles out here. Let's go ahead and use this bottle. When you need a striker for the ferro rod, brown glass is much tougher than clear glass. And we'll get a pine knot. I saw some up here on the way in. All right, that's all I need. Start a no knife fire. Let me show you. Here we go. Let's see if we can break into the middle of one of these pine knots. We'll use this. That fat wood is dried up, but it doesn't matter. It'll still be good. That ought to keep my hand far enough away from the shattering and cutting glass. That's all you need for a scraper. I can get out of the, I can get out of the shadow somehow. Yeah. Let's scrape some fat wood and some ferro rod.
I actually see more fat wood right here. Let's try that. That'll be plenty. Let me show you that. Let me show you my hands are not hurt. That's where I burned myself the other day and that was a big old blister. And when that blister popped, that's why it's, it looks so bad. That was from like five, five or six days ago. But if you're fortunate enough to have really tough skin on your hands and fingers like I do, utilize it. A lot of the things I do, I guess normal people can't do with regular skin on their hands. Nice little pile of fatwood shavings. I feel a good bite right there. That's a pretty easy way to make a no knife fire, really. So, I feel a little bit more practice and more comfortable using this long ferro rod again man it sure deposits a lot of material which is great all right y'all before you leave my channel please hit the subscribe hit that notification bell and in the drop down list select all and do give the video a like i appreciate you joining me on this one we'll catch you on the next one